Hi, everybody. John Montgomery from Flu, online at flu.org. Well, everybody's been talking about the Fiat 500, and they've been seeing them all over town, but what about underneath? Is anybody taking a look underneath there? Well, today we're going to go down under and take a look at the car and look at its features from uh, underneath. So to do that, I've gone ahead and taken off the splash guard. Basically, it's six bolts uh, with 10 millimeter heads to uh, take that off of there, and uh, all those fasteners are galvanized. As you can see, there's a uh, heat shield that's integrated into the splash guard itself. Very easy to take off and gives you full uh, use of uh, the engine bay to be able to get in there and service the vehicle. Okay, let's take a look underneath and see what we've got. First thing you'll notice about the Fiat 500 is that all the fasteners are galvanized. You'll also notice that there's a paint mark on every fastener that indicates its final torque setting. So you know, years from now, that that fastener has ever been moved or altered in any way. So that's great. You find that on uh, precision pieces of equipment, aircraft, and all that. So a nice touch by the Fiat engineers just to make sure that everything is buttoned up tight. Um, you'll notice also that the Fiat 500 has a stainless steel exhaust system, a standard equipment on all models. And also, you'll see that just that little piece right there, that exhaust hanger, you'll see that that is engineered to minimize any transfer of vibration into the um, cabin from the uh, exhaust system and engine as it's running. There's also a full heat shield uh, right underneath there of the, um, of the chassis to isolate the heat from the um, uh, exhaust system itself. Okay, moving up forward toward the front of the car, you can see the flex coupler right there. You can also see, if you look closely, you can see the um, power steering. You can see the boots for the power steering back there, uh, back behind the subframe. And as you know, the Fiat 500 has a three-foot shorter turning radius than the uh, BMW Mini. So that's where that comes from. Uh, also, one of the most common things that people look for underneath, of course, where is the drain plug? There you go. There's the drain plug, nice and accessible. So no problem with changing oil on a Fiat 500. Um, also, you can see as we move across here where the subframe connects into the transmission. There's a flex, uh, it's a rigid coupler right there, but it actually uh, can pivot. So, and you also see the uh, CV drives right, uh, right on top of that and run over to the uh, front suspension. So let's take a look at the front suspension while we're over here. We've got the lower control arms and a McPherson strut suspension system. You'll also notice that uh, there's, uh, there's the tie rod in the back for your steering rod, and also you'll notice a number of um, uh, fitments coming out there. And uh, you remember that this vehicle has uh, ABS, it has uh, traction control, stability control, it even has uh, a uh, tire pressure monitoring system. So all that is in those components there that you're looking at. One of the neat things for detailers like me is I can actually clean the inside of the factory hubs, or excuse me, factory wheels, without having to remove the um, wheel assembly from the car, which is a really nice touch, so I appreciate that. Um, you'll see everything up underneath here is solid steel, and you'll see where the transmission pack mates to the engine right here, and uh, you'll see where the exhaust system comes down, comes down from the front of the engine, and uh, you'll also see the Lambda probe right there. So that's easily accessible. And uh, there's the exhaust manifold up ahead of that. And um, you'll see on this side, there's the engine sump. And you also see a, um, the serpentine belt that's on the uh, passenger side of the car. There you go. So you can see that a little bit. And take a look at the sound insulation underneath there, too. So remember, Fiat's done a great job of insulating this car from road noise so that you have the most smoothest, comfortable ride possible. Um, okay, let's take a look towards the front, and you can see, let's spin the camera around here a little bit, if you'll bear with me, there we go. You'll see the electric fan right there, the radiator, you'll see the hoses that connect, and all the fitments that connect. There's the air box way up top there, that black box, and uh, you'll see all the components and fittings, you'll see the ground strap, you'll see the uh, steel that mounts the front clip of the car uh, onto the fascia and you also see the headlight bucket that is uh, uh, back there on the left on the other side of that steel so remember those are uh, by energy headlights of the uh, very latest available 
that you can get in this market. Um, also, you can see where uh, all the fittings for the radiator are easily accessible. So um, really, as a uh, long-time Fiat enthusiast, I don't see any problems underneath here with uh, doing any kind of work at all. It looks very simple and easy to, to uh, work with. So anyway, remember that this car is five-star crash rated and also meets the six-star criteria. So you're really looking at a very sophisticated um, piece of equipment here that is the safest car in its class by far. So this car is nothing cheap underneath here. Everything is made as well as it can be made, uh, precision fitments and solid steel. And in every place you look up here on this component right here, all steel, so I think you've got a very, very strong subframe and uh, engine power pack here that is um, in a nice, tidy package. So anyway, well, thank you for joining me on this little tour down under. If you'd like to find out more about the Fiat 500, you can go to uh, fiatusa.com or fiat500usa.com for in-depth information. Or you can even check my little humble website, which is fiatofgreenville.com. I hope you've enjoyed your tour, and uh, we'll see you on the top side. Have a great day. Ciao.